Hello everyone. Today at Klein's Garage, we're going to be checking the bore on this B18C1 block. Uh, I tore this block down because I'm going to freshening it up. I'm possibly going to install some higher compression pistons in it or maybe a stroker kit later on in the year. But I was going to hone this out to put it back together. But before I do that, I want to make sure our cylinders are nice and round so we have good ring seal. And uh, I borrow this four gauge from a friend from work and uh, we're gonna check this out here so basically drop it in almost at the top right right in the compression zone right below you get where your build up is and so what you do is you move it until back and forth until the needle is just at zero right I had it set at zero but you just spin the spin the dial so the needle will line up with our zero mark and then what you do is you just move it down the bore Keep wiggling it back and forth until you find the smallest mark. So we're right, right around, uh, right around zero. Hold screw almost all the way down. Each mark on this gauge is a half a thousandth. So hold the true pretty much all the way down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the block and check the other direction on the on the sleeve itself. Start at the top. Now if you notice we're about a thousandth and a half larger diameter this direction at first I thought this might have been from piston to sidewall loading because I revved the heck out of this motor and run a lot of boost on it but it's odd that it follows true almost all the way down so we're about a thousandth and a half to two thousandths larger diameter this direction all the way to the bottom it's just strange These sleeves are installed a bunch of years ago, probably almost 12. And the gap between the sleeves, generally on, on aftermarket sleeves, there's, there's approximately a thousandths gap between them. But on this particular block, I've got this all shrink wrapped up so I don't get truck off of oil. Um, there's normally a thousandth or, or so, or if not a little more gap between the sleeves. What that does is that allows the sleeves to float a little bit. These are dry sleeves, they're epoxied in, and you know they really don't move. But anytime you heat up metal, it expands out, grows. So if there's not a little bit of gap between all of your sleeves, when this one expands, it's going to sideload this one, and then this one's going to sideload the other one, and it's just going to go right down the line. So. I'm thinking what happened, and with the assistance of uh, a friend of mine, Gerard Paterka, Paterka Racing, we feel that the sleeves, when they expanded, they went egg-shaped a little bit because they were side-loading each other. And when the sleeves are installed, the sleeves were installed green, which meaning they weren't really heated up or annealed after they were bored. So when you when you anneal something it it allows it to basically relax and move around to wherever it's going to move when you bore it you're you're creating a lot of pressure on it and it it's going to uh hold that position until metal relaxes and and moves where it's going to go after it heats up and cools down so i'm thinking that that's what happened just from expanding the metal was green and from side loading when the, when the metal when the metal uh, relaxed it relaxed in a slightly egg-shaped position it's odd because I ran this motor for a long time like this and I even did a leak down test on it uh, a while ago for for something completely unrelated uh, issue and I don't only 5% leak down which is really good on a motor like this and you can still see the crosshatch marks on the sidewalls it's between one and a half and two thousandths out around so th that's only seven and a half tenths on each side 
but I would think that that'd be enough to take most of the hone marks off but and it holds true all the way to the bottom so anyway this is some what you want to do if you're gonna uh, tear your block down you're gonna rebuild it put put new rings in if, if I would install new rings with this thousand and a half to two thousand sat around it'd be really questionable whether there'd be really good ring seal or not ring seal remember your rings are, are what holds all the pressure in the cylinder without a proper really good ring seal you're going to have excessive blow by down to the bottom of the block you're going to make less power and you're going to have a whole another world of problems so it's not necessary necessary that you do this but it's a really good idea too if you're going to hone it check it yourself or take it to the machine shop uh, i like to know exactly what's going on with all my stuff so when i go to the machine shop i, I know what questions to ask and i don't sound like an idiot uh, but anyway third steps floor gauge you can pick these up i think they're about a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars uh, I happen to borrow this from Paterka Racing. So, as always, have fun, stay safe.